Okay, today's video is gonna be over what can you burn in a kerosene only cheap Walmart lantern. Pick this up for about $10 at an army surplus store. They sell them at Walmart too. And it can burn kerosene, obviously. We're gonna test out olive oil, which is probably the thickest one we got. Lighter fluid and paint thinner. So let's go and start with the kerosene. All right, I'm telling you, this kerosene bottle will make a mess. It, it just drips, drips down the side. I hate that. I gotta like pour it quickly. Okay, you know what? I think that's enough. Alright, let's light her up. Pop this open. I got our handy lighter. Light her up. If I can get it to light. There she goes. Lower that wick because it's gonna get a little smoky. Eh, no, too much smoke. Boom. Burns just fine. I'll let it sit for a couple minutes so, so the wick can absorb it. But we'll check back in about a couple minutes. All right, a couple minutes later and it's burning just fine like it should be. We're gonna go and pour this out and try the paint thinner. Also what I'm doing, I emptied out all the kerosene but there's still some in the wick and you shouldn't do this if you want your wick to last longer. But I'm just trying to burn out all the kerosene out of there. So we'll see what happens. Okay, at this point, I burnt, I think I burned most of it out. It got to the point where I had to keep on raising it just to keep the flame up and I was burning the wick out and that's not good. Let's get some good old paint thinner in here and see how this works, it turns out. Oh, nothing too bad happens. Oh, look at this can, it's not even dribbling out the bottom. It's working as it should. Pour a little bit more in there just to boom. Don't even have to worry about it. Perfect. All right, I hope nothing bad happens. Here we go. Wick barely caught on. Lip down. Now she's burning. Let's see how long we can get it for going. Okay guys, this thing's not burning as well as I want it to be. This wick is really out there right now. It's not supposed to be that high. I don't know if it's just not if it's just not doing a good job at absorbing it, but I'm gonna let it burn for a good couple more minutes and see what happens. I already let it sit for a couple minutes, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so an update on this. I let it sit for a couple more minutes and burning. You're burning the wick more than the oil itself. The paint thinner so if you had to i'd say try to find something different maybe try to find some of that lighter fluid that we're going to try out next okay i figured it out why well, our wick is utterly short i only had this thing for about a day or two but apparently i've been burning through a lot more wick than i should be so i'm gonna go to a camping store pick up a new set of wicks. Now, we'll meet you there. Okay, we're here, I hope these people have it because I already been to Walmart and Dick's Sporting's Goods uh, yesterday and they didn't have it. Uh, that sucks, they don't got what I want. I don't think anybody carries this stuff anymore. I mean, the technology's just so outdated. All right, I'm at a different Walmart from the one I went from yesterday. I do got some, just one more left and I got one pack. Okay, I finally got it, and it was more of a hassle than it needed to be to, but I'm gonna go and load it in there. Okay, this is finally the moment of truth. I'll let it soak in there. We're gonna light her up, and oh, it's going good. Turn that down. Turn it down some more so we don't create smoke. Let this down. Paint thinner does work as a secondary fuel. We're gonna let it burn for a couple minutes. I'm already having positive results about this. I don't know if y'all can see that in there, but the wick isn't actually burning. That's how you know the fuel's burning good. It has tiny little bits of char on the top, but it wasn't like before on this old wick right here where it was just charring up. So we know it's absorbing all the paint thinner in there, which is our fuel. It's working out very well. So I gotta say, in a survival situation, paint thinner will work. It is a little smoky though, and it's a lot more dirtier, so just keep that in mind. All right, I put it out and that's all that charge on the top. That's really good results. 
and um, it's burning the same. In fact, they kind of smell the same and make up kind of the same material. So they're really closely related. Honestly, I think you can use kerosene as paint there if you needed to. All right, we got the lighter fluid filled up in there. I apologize for the uh, work going out there. Not gonna lie, this is probably one of the messiest things I've done with fuel before. Let's go and light it up. Oh, and it lit instantly. Obviously, it's lighter fluid. Put it down. Oh man, I think it just, it's too thin, that's all. This feels too thin. It's almost like burning gasoline. It's way too thin. Yeah, it, it's not, it's not gonna work well. Sorry folks, I'm not gonna burn this whole thing out. Okay, now it is time for our olive oil. It's the extra virgin olive oil. This is the, the thickest oil that we're gonna be burning. I got a brand new wick on, this is the old one. See, it's a little charred. Let's see what this does. All right, we got our wick mostly soaked. It isn't gonna soak all the way to the top. This oil is just too thick. I'll let it sit for a couple minutes. Let's go and light her up. See if we can get going here. Oh, it's burning. It's burning. It's barely burning. I'm gonna raise that up. Gently set it down. And I just lit it out. This is gonna be a hard one to light. All right. Uh, the wick's burning right now, but it sort of smells like Chinese food right now in here too. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference, but this, you can see where it's white and where it's kind of green. We're going to get it going until it's kind of green. We're going to char that whole thing down. All right, I cut out the charred bit. Now we just got the olive oil part of the wick burning. It burns pretty decent, actually. I'm actually impressed that this is burning the olive oil, but the lighter fluid isn't. I knew the, I had high hopes about the lighter fluid, but I knew it would be very light. Kind of like gasoline. It's almost like gasoline. Gasoline's a little bit more thinner, but yeah, this is working pretty well, actually. Olive oil, not a bad idea. And it's, I think it's pretty safe to burn in your house too, considering that it smells good and it's kind of like lamp oil. I don't know how well you can see this, but it's actually burning the wick it, more than the oil. The oil's helping, but it's just not hot enough. You need it figure out a way to heat up the oil so it can burn the oil more than just the wick. So honestly, paint thinner, kerosene, lamp oil is the way to go. If you're in a pinch and you have a lot of wicks, you can use olive oil. I'm pretty impressed. I'm gonna let this burn. I'm very curious about this. Yeah, here's what I'm talking about. You gotta turn it up every other minute or this will happen. You barely get any light. So it is just burning the wick. You're gonna have to figure out a way to heat up the oil like using a blowtorch, but then at that point, it's not even worth it because you can just use the blowtorch for light. So, olive oil, kind of a fail. Lighter fluid is a fail. And the paint thinner and the kerosene itself was a go. So, kerosene obviously won on performance and like, between smell and performance, kerosene was the winner. It's the recommended one. Um, I'm sure lamp oil, it's much more expensive, but you can figure out, just put it in there. It's the same thing as kerosene. It's just more refined and it doesn't, it's very low odor to no odor. Um, our olive oil over here, still smoldering. Um, if, if you want a good smell, but you don't mind burning through a ton of wicks, then olive oil is good to go. Smells just like a um, J Japanese restaurant with their hibachi. Kind of want some now. If you're looking for uh, something like kerosene and it has a similar smell than paint thinner kerosene, I guess they're more 50 50, but kerosene is just the way to go. Lighter fluid was a total fail. Not only did it not burn the wick, but it couldn't even burn itself. It's just too thin and gasoline. We're not even going to start with that. I'm sure you can figure out a way if you can mix diesel and gasoline together, thicken it out and get it enough, but it's not even, it's better campfire at that point if you're in that kind of situation. 
But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video.